Gute! I recently chatted with two nice guys from Minecraft AI. On the one side, Chris, Community Manager Gasling, and on the other side, Michael, TTS works on every device, Hansen. <laughs> and these two guys, they spoiled me a little secret. And this secret is that. Gude. Hacky, tacky, nerd stuff. Open voice enthusiast. Open voice, open future. Mimic 3 is soon to be released. <laughs> Yay! Mimic 3 is soon to be released. <laughs> so, huh? you have no idea what Mimic version 3 is? Okay, maybe this helps. Mimic 3 is the next generation after Mimic 2. No? Version 1? <laughs> no? Okay, so Mimic is in general the TTS technology stack project product by Mycroft AI. And the first version of Mimic um, works on devices, even on small devices like a Raspberry Pi, which is great. But the quality is, let's be honest, it has lots of room for improvement. <laughs> so it's not comparable at all with the cloud-based voices. Um, but it still be used as some kind of fallback even in Microsoft Voice Assistant. So if the primarily configured TTS method is not available for whatever reason, Mimic version 1 might be the fallback if it's compiled for usage on device. Mimic version 2 has a way better um, a language and naturalness and a sounding, but it's still just available uh, in English and as it's more intensive when it comes to compute usage, it's not able to use it on uh, uh, small devices like Raspberry Pi. So it's depending on Microsoft's server infrastructure. So Mimic version 2, English language available, can just be used with internet connection. And as I said, version 3 of Minecraft's Mimic is soon to be released and this greatly is uh, like Mimic version 1, again working on devices, even on a small computer device like Raspberry Pi 4 at least. And in addition to that, it is not just for English language, but it is for let me check it again, for over 20, 25 languages available, which is, which is super amazing. And if you would like me to make a video once it is publicly available and um, to set up a Mimic version 3 with several languages, please let me know in the comments. And uh, one last thing before going into the voices available, my German Thorsten voice is available too. <laughs> so if you would like to have your voice assistant sounding like me, this is probably um, possible with Mimic version 3. So let's get a look into it. And um, for that, if we open the browser, we can see on the Microsoft page that it's coming soon, Mimic 3. Uh, as we said, it's running on a Raspberry Pi 4. There are samples available, but probably if you would like me to do so, I will make a video going more into detail on these, on these aspects. Um, it's default set for the Mark II, but can be run locally uh, for whatever purpose you would like to have it. Um, there are lots of languages available, um, as I've said. Um, so let's take a look to the languages available at all. And as you can see on this sample page, there are lots of languages available, which is super. And let's take a look to the English version. Here, we have several speakers available. So 
not just one speaker, or at least for English, there are multiple speakers available. So let's check this, how it's sounding. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of light appearing in the sky. It takes the form of a multicolored circle. So it's that rainbow description uh, printed in the upper page. Well, let's randomly pick one. A rainbow is a meteorological phenomenon that is caused by reflection, refraction and dispersion of light in water droplets resulting in a spectrum of... So let's, let's see the Spanish version. Un arcoiris un arcoiris es un fenómeno óptico y meteorológico que consiste en la aparición en el cielo de un arco. I have no idea what's uh, being said there. Just it's going about rainbows, but um, but it's sounding clear at least to me. Um, I, I do not speak Spanish, so I cannot say if it's good or not. But it's it seems to be clear at least. So um, that's it <laughs> as this small teaser or spoiler, whatever you will like to call it. Um, if you like that type of content, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. That would uh, help me really or give this video a thumbs up and um, let me know in the comments if you would like me to make a video on more in detail of Mimic 3 once it is released to the public. So that's it for now. We will see us next time. Bye!